Okay, YouTube family, this is going to be a good one. Now, what you're trying to see and look at here, you're reading the titles correctly. Scotty Pippen wife, ex-wife that is, Larsa Pippen reportedly re will receive half of Scotty Pippen's retirement earnings. You're talking about from two, 1996 to 2016, half of that will be awarded to larsa pimpin now before we get started with this i need y'all to do me one absolute thing and that's just to smash that like button hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip-hop live movement let's start the show Well, we know everything that's been going on with Larsa Pimpin in recent history, but we once laughed at Larsa Pimpin and her former husband, Scotty Pimpin, for going through the world's longest divorce. The pair announced their separation at the end of 2016, and it wouldn't be finalized until 2022. But now it looks like Larsa, who's laughing, she's the one who got the W, ladies and gentlemen. That is not... A, a, a shot towards Scottie Pippen but she won her relationship with Marcus Jordan is all over the air I mean she's joviating about everything between her and Marcus she's out here showing off with their new separation anxiety podcast that they celebrate together and they made an announcement about this podcast our new at our our new at iHeart radio podcast at separation anxiety podcast drops tomorrow subscribe now and tune in weekly for all our hot takes so this thing is getting serious between the two and before i continue reading about half the money she's taking larsa and basically pimpin and marcus jordan they wanted to have kids together get this right they needed a situation to make them feel validated and i'm not mad at them love is love and you get it from all goods but you know they they got candid about having kids the real housewives of miami star 48 years old and the 32 year old son of michael jordan tackled the topic of having children's on the latest episode now there has been conversations around having kids explained marcus when we go and we meet people you know what i'm saying that's what we have to feel and it's in our private conversations one-on-one -on -one. we never miss the opportunity to love each other and be with each other what they said now i'm going to continue with this lawsuit man this, not lawsuit but it feels like a lawsuit according to new legal documents obtained by the blast an order was put in place by an la county court in regard to the former couple's ongoing divorce specifying larsa's rights to scotty's chicago bulls 401k plan and saving plan trust in order for the court to recognize larsa as scotty's ex-wife whom he married in 1997 the official date of the separation is november 3 2016 so she was legally awarded 50 percent of all account balances as of the plan's val valuation amount closest to the date of their separation in other words she get half of the amount that was occurred in the account from 1996 to 2016 mission impossible man look if that wasn't enough the order appears to read that larsa is also entitled to the full amount regardless of what is currently in the account it states to the extent there are no assets in his account sufficient to satisfy the assignment benefit on the date as a separate account is established for larsa man talk about getting married and not needing to get married one thing we do know about their marriage and relationship is how she larsa said they had sex you know basically four times a night for 23 years in a row i mean talk about the exhaustion this lady is more than high maintenance jesus christ yeah marcus has big shoes to fill yeah we wear the size 15 shoes i think he's okay oh I was married for 23 years. I've always had sex like four times a night. Four times a night? Four times a night. Yeah, so three times a week is nothing. Hold on. You're telling me you had sex four times a night when you were married? No, I had sex four times a night every night. I never had a day off. For 23 years. Wait, hold on. What? What? Yes. Never a day off? For... But what's harder and harder for you to summon it up every single night? 
And when I was in my 20s, I could give it to you back to back to back just how you wanted it. Sure. As you get older. Man, as you get older, you can't do it no more. You're going to feel exhausted. But I don't know, man. This lady got the energy of a tiger. No wonder they say cougars get young men energy flowing, get the juices going. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But that's what they said. But we do remember when Future, he exposed the situation. He said he asked Scottie Pippen for an autograph. And he said basically no and he got revenge 20 years later basically he allegedly slept with larsa pippen i don't know if we should we need to say allegedly anymore at this point but for lawsuit and youtube guidelines sakes we're gonna say allegedly now larsa who cheated allegedly on scotty pippen with future made pippen buy her a four million dollar ring and apologized to her for cheating only to cheat with future again before pip pen that is took her back now has filed for divorce and want half of scotty's money so she got money from the other amounts he already had and we already know the bulls barely play uh paid scotty pippen anything if anything at all so he already was going through lumps of coals and and bs action so for this to happen to him your heart feels sorry for scotty pippen now it should be noted that this is normal in a california court for couples to split their respective retirements unless there is a prenuptial agreement so basically scotty i'm not gonna call him a simp but you know where this is going and he didn't do a prenuptial agreement i mean this is the same guy who signed a contract with the chicago bulls a six-year 13 million dollar contract when his values was he basically was way overvalued than that he should have gotten three four times the amount but this is scotty pippen ladies and gentlemen he's loyal to a fault now at the end of the day you know what i'm saying the famous couple reportedly did have a prenup but the problem is in this country there are loopholes in these prenups so does a prenup really protect you anymore the greatest part of this order for larsa is that the money is to be paid in cash lump sum and is to be distributed to her own account as soon as administratively possible following the approval of this order and the said so judge signed it on june 16 2020 three man this is brazy because larsa pippen originally released a statement on the couple's divorce saying after careful consideration and 19 years together larsa and scotty has filed for this the uh dissolution of their marriage and a publicist added although they are no longer to be married larsa remains hopeful that she and scotty will always do what's best for their four beautiful children i mean larsa your children's are grown now what is clear is that pippen made over a hundred million dollars while playing playing for Chicago Bulls but isn't worth that much now so how much is in the 401k you know what I'm saying that said Larsa been catching W's while embarrassing the hell out of Scotty we know about her situation with Malik Beasley her son's uh, former teammate that is for minor seconds of reasons but now that she needs it but well we don't know if she needs the money or not she seems very taken all right but women these days not to breach that but if you have been living under a rock for a while you know about her and jordan but it's just getting crazy man she said she cried oceans after him i would do anything for him people saying i'm a gold digger is insane i don't care about money i've had it my whole life ladies and gentlemen miss laura pimpin look i'm your guy dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live make sure you like share and subscribe to the platform salute to the i smoke hip-hop nation friends and families who are watching us man y'all let me know in the comment sections what you think about this whole thing do you think larsa pimpin is in the wrong or do you think scotty pimpin showed no accountability and neglect in protecting his assets let me know in the comment sections and come back again for more great updates peace family Thursday. I smoke G Mike with the magic. He my dog. He died in traffic with that brand new Glock 380. Went to see the voodoo lady. I'm on hot shit right now. That wood done turned me crazy. With a brand new black Mercedes. It's a stay la be my baby. I see so many Z's. It look like double Z's. OMG. Red and blue flag. Hanging on my back. That extra swag. 9021. No, I'm from the roads. Rock and roll. I'm motherfucking lot of there. With the sack. Three for sale, yeah, I'm on that Adderall, Adderall. can't you tell, yeah, I might be on that perk, 
Said I'm feelings on my shirt. Said I'm 